Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Cauchy Residue Theorem. In this session, we are going to solve problems involving pole of order M part 2. In the previous video, we have seen an example how to crack problems which has pole of order M. Also, at the beginning, we solved few problems with simple pole. Now, let us go into the session and we crack one more problem on pole of order M. We go to our favorite problem. The same problem we did in the simple pole where we have sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1, z minus 2. There we evaluate for the region mod z equal to 3, mod z equal to 3 by 2. Here we have z minus 1 whole square and mod z equal to 3. Let us go into the problem. The given region is mod z equal to 3, center 0, 0 and radius 3. Then let us visualize the circle. So this is very obvious because we are seeing all our problems. So I am just moving fast. So mod z equal to 3 is the circle which is shaded in red. Now just write like this for exam point of view. We have z minus 1 whole square and z minus 2 in the denominator equate it to 0 to find the poles. So we have z minus 1 whole square equal to 0 comma z minus 2 equal to 0. So we get z equal to 1 comma 1 and here we get z equal to 2. So z equal to 1 is repeated twice and 2 is unique. Now let me take z equal to 1. So x plus i y equal to 1 plus i 0. Therefore my point is 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 0 lies approximately here. So z equal to 1 is lying inside. See the power of z minus 1 it is 2. Since z equal to 1 is repeated twice we can say z equal to 1 is a pole of order 2 lies inside C. And the next point z equal to 2 then immediately I can write this as 2 comma 0. Now we can see the point 2 comma 0 also lies inside. So z equal to 2 is a simple pole because z minus 2 power is 1. So z equal to 2 is a simple pole lies inside C. Here both the poles lies inside C. So we have to find residue of 1 and residue of 2. Step 3. Key points. Let us write the given problem f of z and the region mod z equal to 3 and the poles z equal to 1 twice and z equal to 2. Now by Cauchy residue theorem we have integral over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into r of 1 plus r of 2. Now we have to write both the formulas because z equal to 2 is a simple pole but z equal to 1 is a pole of order 2. So let us write both the formulas. Now we see z equal to 1 is a pole of order 2 lies inside C. So R of 1 is 2 minus 1 factorial because M equal to 2 here. So I can write this as simply 1. So limit z tends to 1 e by dz of z minus 1 whole square into f of z. Now substitute the value of f of z and we can cancel this z minus 1 whole square. Now we have to differentiate the remaining thing. We have to use u by v rule v d u minus u d v divided by v square. Next we have to apply u by v rule and then finally we can substitute the limit. Since my denominator is z minus 2, I can write this as z minus 2 whole square v square. Then v d u z minus 2. Now differentiating sin pi z square, we get cos pi z square and pi z square differentiation is 2 pi z. And then cos pi z square differentiation is minus sin pi z square, pi z square differentiation is 2 pi z minus v d u minus u d v. Now u is sin pi z square cos pi z square. When you differentiate z minus 2, we'll get 1. So now don't simplify anything, just substitute the limits. So we get 1 minus 2 and cos pi into 2 pi minus sin pi into 2 pi minus sin pi plus cos pi. In the denominator we have 1 minus 2 whole square. So simply it is going to be 1. Now we know that sin pi equal to 0, cos pi equal to minus 1. Therefore this term gets 0, this term gets 0. 
1 minus 2 is minus 1, 2 pi into minus 1, minus cos pi is minus 1, denominator is 1, so minus into minus plus, we get 2 pi, second term also minus into minus plus, so power of 1 is 2 pi plus 1, next, z equal to 2 is also a simple pole and it is lying inside C, therefore R of 2 is limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 into f of z. Now I can cancel z minus 2, z minus 2 and applying the limits we get sin 4 pi plus cos 4 pi in the denominator 2 minus 1 whole square. We know that sin n pi is always 0 for any integer and cos even pi is plus 1 and cos odd pi is minus 1. So here we have even pi, this is going to be 0, 0 plus 1 divided by 1 square, that is 1, so we have only 1. Therefore, R of 2 is simply 1. Final step, substitute the residues in the Pachi residue theorem. We know that integral over C, f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of residues. This is my Pachi residue theorem. Here, I have two residues. That is R of 1 and R of 2. 2 pi i. R of 1 is 2 pi plus 1. R of 2 is simply 1. So we get 2 pi i, 2 pi plus 2. Next, taking 2 in common, we get 4 pi i, pi plus 1. This is my solution. Hope you understand, students. Next, we see some problems for your practice. Evaluate integral over c cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2 dz where c is mod z equal to 3 by 2. We can take this as the first point. Now we can take the second region as mod z equal to 3. So you can try this problem for your practice. Second problem integral over c z divided by z minus 1 whole cube dz where mod z equal to 2 is the given region. Evaluate the problem using Cauchy residue theorem. So if the problem is simply given, evaluate integral over c z by z minus 1 whole cube dz where mod z equal to 2 then you can solve either by Cauchy integral formula or Cauchy residue theorem. If it is given specifically solved by Cauchy residue theorem then you have to go by Cauchy residue theorem. Suppose if you are solving in terms of Cauchy integral formula then you completely lose the mark. If nothing is mentioned, you can solve whatever the method you like. If the method is mentioned very clear, solve by Cauchy residue theorem, then solve by CR2. Or if they mention solve by Cauchy integral formula, then no other go, you have to solve by Cauchy integral formula. Next problem, evaluate integral over C, z square plus 1 by z square minus 1 dz, where C is modulus of z minus 1 equal to 1. So here the hint is z square minus 1, you can write this as z minus 1 and z plus 1. Now we have to find which pole lies inside and which pole lies outside C by drawing the circle. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.